Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your preview for Liverpool versus Manchester United. But Eric Ten Hag has provided a new update, a new update on the fitness of Jaden Sancho and Luke Shaw. In this show, guys, we are going to cover the team news, uh, predicting starting at 11, the current form head to head, and also score prediction at the end. So be sure to stick around and get involved by letting us know who should be in the starting 11. Uh, if you are enjoying these previews, make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. But let's get to it, guys. Let's get to it here. Okay, so Liverpool team news and Manchester United uh, team news. He said, I think we'll have players back. Uh, he told this on Thursday. Uh, Luke Shaw was not available, like I said earlier on, but he is expected to be back. Uh, Sancho was ill, but he, we will have to wait and see how that develops, says Eric Ten Hag. So Sancho could be a, a, a doubt for this game. Obviously, uh, Christian Eriksen and Donny van der Beek are still long-term absentees, so they're not going to be able to return in this game. Uh, Anthony Martial is working hard to recover from his hip issues uh he will be an important player for eric ten hag when he does return obviously we're gonna need it we desperately miss uh tony martial we we continuously selecting vehicles in that position because we just don't have uh, a striker in that department let's see who we're gonna be facing i mean uh liverpool have struggled with injuries so far this season and in his press conference on friday morning jurgen klopp ruled out three first team players um, out of Sunday's game. So key midfielder Thiago Alcantara groin injury forward Luis Diaz is also knee injury and will continue their respective uh, spells on the sideline. Darwin Nunes and Ibrahima Konate uh, returned as a starter against Wolves. Uh, but uh, Joe Gomez is still out with a muscle problem. Okay, let's look at the team news. Uh, so this is the team that has started against uh, West Ham uh, in a couple of days ago. So David De Gea will stay in goal. I don't think we're going to make a change on that position. But Dalot, so who would you go with? Are you going to go with Dalot or are you actually uh, going to go with Juan Bissaka? That is, that is a big question. Dalot over Juan Bissaka or Juan Bissaka over Dalot? I think I think in this game we should go with Juan Bissaka because... because Juan Basaka is more strong defensively. We're playing away from home. Uh, Anfield could be tough and could be a very difficult atmosphere, even though Liverpool are currently struggling for form. I do believe that defensively we need to be solid. And I think Juan Basaka is a better choice than Dalot in that department. Just for his defensive qualities, I'm, I will start Juan Basaka on the right so center back position center back position we've we've used Lindelof and Harry Maguire guess what these two are not gonna start against Liverpool there is no way they're gonna start against Liverpool we know for sure uh, 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 they're not gonna start this match and I do believe that the two World Cup winners Martinez and Rolls-Royce Varane will return in that back four we're gonna need them definitely needed away from home against Liverpool. So those two are going to return in that back four. So the back four definitely is going to look like this. And Malasia, of course, Luke Shaw was absent uh, in the previous game, but I do expect, I do expect Luke Shaw to be selected as well. So this is going to be the back four, guys. Let's look at the middle of the park here. So Sabatzer and Scott McTominay started this match against West Ham. Clearly, these two are not going to start. Uh, are not going to start against Liverpool. That is clear to me. I think uh, Casemiro is going to turn into uh, the middle of the park that CDM role alongside uh, Fred. So these two, the Brazilians, Casemiro and Fred, has done really well together ever since uh, Christian Eriksen has been injured. I believe these two have done magnificently well, and may that continue, Casemiro and Fred will be in the middle of the park here. So the question is the front four here. So we do have Anthony. That is definitely going to be the answer. I don't think Anthony has performed really well since coming uh, to the team after getting injury, uh, after getting injured. But I do believe, I do believe that 
he's going to be selected for this game. I do believe that he's going to be selected for this game. So Anthony will stay on the right. Bruno clearly will stay as a number 10. But Garnacho. So here's the thing. Does he deserve to start this match? Probably he does. But who are you going to take out? Who are you going to take out? You don't want to take out Anthony and put Rashford on the right-hand side, right? Rashford's favorite position is the position that Garnacho is shiny. So I do believe Garnacho is going to return to the bench just because Rashford is the number one guy on that position. As simple as that. We've seen Garnacho play on the right. He doesn't like it. So clearly Rashford is going to be the one playing on the left. And I do believe uh, Marcus Rashford is going to return to the team. So that is it, people. Back four, two in the middle. The front four is going to be Anthony, Bruno, Rashford, and Weghorst. I didn't really talk about Weghorst uh, because I know that Eric Ten Hag loves Weghorst. I can see why he does in games like he can press. Now he's being more impactful. He's making a difference in the results and the goals and stuff, but Really, he shouldn't be our number 10 or he shouldn't be our number 9 next season. That is purely a fact. I think every fan, every United fan would have to agree with that. Is he a, an impactful player from the bench? Yes, he is. But we shouldn't be starting games with Vec Holst in the lineup. That is just ridiculous. But at this moment in time, Eric Ten Hag finds a way and he found a way to use Veghorst properly and somehow he's making a difference uh, into the team and I think it's going to continue. I think it's going to continue. He's going to play uh, against Liverpool as well. So this is going to be the lineup. The last five games, so last five games from Liverpool, you're looking at it. They've won two games, uh, lost one game and drawn one game. So gradually they're getting better. They are getting better. But are they... Are they like the, the old Liverpool that we know? They're not there yet. They are not there yet. Uh, Manchester United, you're looking, at, uh, you're looking at our form. You can think of it as a five win because that draw against Barcelona really doesn't count because away from home, a draw is not a bad result in a European competition. So I would look at it definitely as a five win. So if we've won four in a row. Really, we are... <laughs> Putting up a lot of good results, a lot of good results. And there is actually a quote that says uh, Klopp was talking about us. And he said, United are just good at winning games this season. You better believe that. <laughs> I mean, we are winning games consistently, guys, consistently. And Eric Ten Hag is doing his magic. He is doing his magic. Before I give you guys my prediction, head to head, here it is. For the last five games, we've lost. We've lost four people. We've lost four, so head-to-head, -head, it doesn't look good against Liverpool. They've been smashing us, especially last season. Home and away, they got, we got smashed. The year before, we got smashed. It's time. It's time Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag uh, put down a marker and smash Liverpool on Sunday. As you can see here, so the table looks like this. Uh, Arsenal leading the table. Manchester United are 49 points. Played 24 games, so if we win this game... We are within eight points of Arsenal. So, you know what? Just got to believe we're still in the shot. You, we still are within the shot to win it or to at least compete trying to win the league. But clearly, we're not the favorites. We're probably the least favorite out of Man City and Arsenal. But I do believe we can compete all the way. Liverpool versus Man United. This is my prediction. I think Liverpool won Manchester United too. Uh... <laughs> We were actually finding it really difficult against West Ham and the FA Cup on Wednesday, but we changed the game when we actually brought in Casemiro and Marcus Rashford, and we went up uh, another gear. Liverpool don't seem to have, uh, or don't seem to have the team or the squad to do that. Jurgen Klopp's side have kept a couple of clean sheets in a row now against Crystal Palace and Wolves. Uh, which was important for Liverpool, but it's really not that big of a deal because neither of those teams offer much offensively in attack. They got hammered by Real Madrid. Let's not forget, at home, they got hammered by Real Madrid. I cannot see, I cannot see Liverpool keeping out Marcus Rashford uh, uh, this Sunday. I just can't see them uh, stopping Marcus Rashford. They get dominated in the middle of the park and they are vulnerable 
at the back as well and United would definitely take advantage of that and this is the best time to go to Anfield and put a marker down so I am going for Manchester United win 2-1 uh, so like I said guys watch along it's gonna be on Sunday thank you all for watching thank you all for joining be sure to join us for the watch along also let us know in the comment sections what you guys think about the lineup i've just uh put uh, put out there what's your score predictions uh for this game as well thanks again guys and i'll definitely see you guys on the next one peace